Hi, boys and girls. I'm so glad you found our Google Classroom. I'd like to read a book with you today. We're going to be learning about plants this week, and our first story is Sunflower Life Cycle. The author of this book is Jeff Bauer. The Sunflower Life Cycle. Here's our table of contents. We have Chapter 1, All About Plants. Chapter 2, Seed to Flower. Chapter 3, Flower to Seed. And Chapter 4, Super Sunflowers. Let's begin with Chapter 1, All About Plants. Look at this beautiful field of bright sunflowers. This book will tell you all about them. Sunflowers are plants. So is everything in this garden. Plants grow all over the world. Plants are living things, but they do not move around like animals. Plants stay in one place and grow. A hummingbird visits a sunflower. Some plants have flowers. Some plants have vegetables or fruits. Both animals and people depend on plants for food. A butterfly drinks nectar. A child eats watermelon. There are millions of kinds of plants in the world. Do you know what makes all of them alike? They all began as a tiny seed. Let's take a look at the life cycle of a sunflower to see how a plant grows. Plants need air, sun, soil, and water to grow healthy and strong. Look at all these different kinds of plants. Trees, grasses, wheat. We use wheat to make bread and um, crackers. Watermelon, pansies, cactus, and sunflower. After this book is over, maybe you can go outside and take a look and see how many different kinds of plants you can find. Chapter 2, Seed to Flower. There are sunflower seeds. They get planted in the spring. Why? They need warmth and rain to grow into flowers. Rainwater wets the ground. It softens a seed until it bursts open. Then up grows a baby sunflower with roots, a stem, and little tiny green leaves. Here we have a picture of a plant, and look at the labels. We've got arrows pointing to the leaves, to the stem, and the roots. Just like a scientist, you can draw a picture of a plant and draw arrows and label it. The plant gets bigger and bigger. It grows a big bud at the top of its stem. Do you know what that bud will become? This is a flower bud. The answer is a bright yellow flower. One by one, the petals open. Soon the sunflower will be in full bloom. It takes a sunflower many days to open all the way up. Here it is tightly closed, and you can see the petals beginning to pop out, just a few at a time. Chapter 3, Flower to Seed. Ta-da! About two months after the seed was planted, the sunflower is all grown up. It is now in full bloom. A few days later, the sunflower begins to make a sugary liquid called nectar. Bzz, bzz, bee stop by for a sweet drink. And here is a bee. A bee sucks up nectar. Sunflowers also make a sticky dust called pollen. When bees fly from flower to flower, they spread the dust around. This causes the sunflowers to make new seeds. If you get really close with a microscope, you can see that pollen grains look like this when you're really close up. In fall, sunflowers shrivel up and start to die. They drop their seeds, which slide into the ground. The seeds stay buried until spring. Then they grow into new sunflowers. The center of a sunflower is packed with hundreds of seeds. Life Cycle Review Can you remember the four main parts of a sunflower's life cycle? Take a look. In one day, in spring, a sunflower seed is planted in the ground. In one week, a sunflower seed bursts open and a little plant grows. Two months, a sunflower opens all its bright petals and blooms. In four months, a shriveling sunflower drops its seeds so that new plants can grow. A sunflower's life cycle lasts about four months. Chapter 4 Super Sunflowers Sunflowers grow all over. Some grow in gardens and fields. Others grow on special sunflower farms, just like this one. 
There are 67 different kinds of sunflowers in the world. Did you hear that? 67 different kinds. There are many uses for sunflowers. Oil from sunflowers is used for cooking. You can also eat the seeds. Crunch, crunch, crunch. You can even pick sunflowers and give them to someone you love. Beautiful. Again, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this story. And if you have time, have your parents take you outside and see if you can find all the different kinds of plants that you might have around your neighborhood or in your yard. Thanks for joining me. I enjoy reading with you.